Welcome everybody to another Moist Tea Gaming video. This is the video which I will begin to do a how to board video, which will include positioning, which has been a long requested video of mine to be done. And I'm yet to see one which is quite like this out there as well. Now I did have quite a few more examples of this which I could have added in. Problem was sometimes recording can be a bit tricky. You either press the wrong button or it's just not quite set up right. Or you think, oh no, I need to quickly get it up and running. And it, yeah, you don't set it up right. So there should have been more. Uh, this is a mix of victories and losses and also a mix of AI and players. In this scenario we have Bork which was chasing me around for days and uh, finally one of them caught up so I was trying to get into a boarding position here. I've got great loaded on both sides. I'm trying to get my ship into a position which is between the wind and the enemy ship. Just so I can initiate this boarding. Now I've taken off his barrisprit, so he'll be on sail shock. If you see it, see it in a minute here, you'll see determined defender. And it only flashes very quickly on. Or does it? I'm pretty sure it does actually. Yeah, there you go, Determined Defender. So that saved him there. Uh, this is another one, a little bit. No, no, it's the same one just later on. Same battle. I'm getting hammered. Uh, no way of actually winning this. I was just trying to board somebody. That Endymion there was going to be my next victim. As you can see, trying to get between it and the wind. That player tried to tack at the wrong time. And I used that to uh, grab all of him. There you go, I'm pulling him in. Because it's uh, a little bit far away, I thought I lost him here. But he has to start going forwards at some point. And he's in crew shock, so we can't do that much about it. There you go, boarding possible again. Now I could have exploded here, but I thought, no, I'll try and capture it. As you can see, I've got him in the ship there. Thought I better put the fire out. Couldn't have been far off actually exploding on that one. So I'm going to go for an attack straight away, which has revealed that the enemy has done fire deck guns, so I need to abort that. I'll switch straight back to the attack. If you attack at the very beginning, it doesn't cost very much at all. And from that I can see the enemy is on defend. Now they don't have much crew left. So I thought I'd just get in there try and take him out real quick and sink him. Thankfully he has friends. Unfortunately for me as I get shoved off at the last possible second. Which is very good teamwork. As you can see it would have only taken one more and I would have had him there but I got shoved off. I would have also had a 
fully equipped ship as well. So that was a nail-biting moment. This one, this is a prime example of the recording stuffing up. For some reason, it didn't record the sound. Uh, what happens in this? Oh, yeah, this was in the Shroud K area. And I'm being hammered as there are multiple enemies. And this case, I would, it's an example of how to get someone in into position of boarding. As you can see, the wind, I use that. Slam the brakes on. And I am now between the wind and the enemy. But they had determined defender on. Which is annoying. So that's another example of how to get there. This is against a AI, I think. That was a wonderful angle. Most of them just bounced off. It's a while since I recorded these. I can't actually remember how things go. Trying to find a sweet spot. So that didn't do half as much as what I was hoping to do. Probably because it still has full armor. They did kind of niggle it slightly, but as you saw in the battle before that, it can still like, get absolutely smashed if you do it right. So the usual plan, as always, is to get between the wind and the enemy, and you can usually stop them dead and get boarding done properly. All well, the problem with these big boats, take forever to do anything, not my favourite sailing. Now I've actually got D power on on there because I do want to be backing up. As if I was a bit too close, I wouldn't be able to grab the wind back. So as I turn around left, oh, what do I do here? I can't actually remember. So the wind is on the, the bottom right there. I think I'm more just angling at that point. Yeah, so the enemy ship's now doing a hard right, so I'm probably going to do that. Yeah, and then I will be again between the wind and the enemy. There you go. The enemy is now switched, but I'm going to go in for a stern rake, perhaps. I didn't see anything. Yeah, I'm slamming the brakes on now. If you, if you have a look, pulling. See between the wind. That 524 crew just dead. That was a nice one. So, usual trick between the wind and the enemy. So, I was obviously prepared for this. I've gone fire deck guns, but the enemy have a more powerful broadside in terms of that for some bizarre reason. Because the AI has less crew than me, they are quite predictable. It 
usually they go fire deck guns or fire grenades at first and their firepower goes up because of it. If you counter attack on a fire grenade you lose a lot of crew on both sides however the enemy morale goes right down so it's still a good trade off. Last second uh, I pressed the attack button when they were on a brace. They don't like that. Fire deck guns always shags them up a bit. They run defense, so the morale is now even more down. Not much left of them here. Need to get some preparation back. So yeah, you don't want to ever attack when they're on a fire deck guns. If their firepower is really high, and there's a risk of the enemy using fire deck guns, remember they can only use it once every three turns or so. Make sure you don't attack on that. Pressing anything at the last second does cost a lot more, but it is surprising. If I press attack straight away, the enemy will, would have probably pressed defend, but you can also use that to your advantage as well. Waiting for that last attack now. But they may have just gone fire deck guns. No, they didn't. So on this one, they probably will. As the firepower is still up. So just wait this one. And now I can probably do this at the last second, and I would have won. This is a little bit different to going at it with a PvP player. And there you go. That's another one done. Oh, this is just a LVG that I found. Must have uh, scrambled for this one. I thought, oh, I can put it in the video. Somehow I got into that position. Must have missed that bit. So I'll wait for them to do the fire deck guns. Just like that. And then I'm probably going to attack again at the last second. Remember, this is only if you have more crew than the enemy AI. If the enemy AI has more crew than you, then they do actively attack you. So I'm still on attack here. They will probably stay on defend. Musket volley is pretty good against a defend. Especially if you have upgrades like redoubtable musket or flintlock rifles and such like, things like that. So it's them always remember to use the bracket key, the bracket keys to fire your broadsides while you are in boarding. Notice also I've only got boarding at full whack, everything else is turned off. And make sure that you do not ever have a repair going while you're in boarding because you cannot take more people off from the repair and then you will be limited on to how your boarding goes. And there you go. Won that one. Here's another one. I 
must have pressed musket volley from the straight away and that's why it was on defend. I thought that was a player one then. Fire deck gun command. Didn't seem like they were going to do it, so I attacked. Their morale is now hammered. But they are now on defend. I could just sit this out, technically. I think I went to, actually. No, changed it. So if you do the attack at the very beginning, again, it is very cheap. Now, I reckon the enemy is going to go for grenades there, but... Oh, yeah, there you go. Another one done. This is in a bit of a bad weather situation. Now, I'm actually doing this wrong against what I normally do say. I somehow get into that position where I am between the wind and the enemy or the AI does something stupid like sail into the wind which it may well do yet so a clan member wanted this ship so I said I'll grab it for him Yeah, so in this situation, the AI just stalls into the wind, which is easily doable in PvP as well. So I'll take the opportunity to board, use the bracket keys, smash the crew. And slowly start pulling them in. Here we go. that we're both going to go for a fire deck guns. That seems to be the norm in PvP at the moment. Fire deck guns straight away. Oh, they went for a musket volley. Well, that won't do them any favours. Well, there you go, they're on defend now. So I'm going to swap that out at the last second. And then straight on the attack again. It should keep them. Oh no, there you go. So they're probably going to go for five deck guns there. So you need to make sure that you aren't on attack. Stupid message coming up in the middle of the screen. There you go, they've done five deck guns. Now I've got free reign to go for an attack at the last second. As you can tell, AI is fairly easy to manipulate. Oh, they didn't do him any favours, did it? So, enemy can't actually do a fire deck guns. Oh, they went for a defend. Yep. might be doing a uh, grenade here. Yep, yeah, so I went for that as well. See, I do lose a lot more men. However, the mor enemy morale goes right down. And not myself.
Last minute attack. One morale every time. It's gonna cycle through them again. Not like we were ever gonna lose this. Yeah, I think I'll just get bored of waiting at this point and just sit it on attack. <laughs> See how the enemy are doing a lot of damage though to my crew. They're still murdering lots of mine. Just had to call that off. Oh, they were doing the fire deck guns anyway. Definitely a good idea to call that off. Might do the last second attack. We're going for a grenade. So this should hammer them. There you go. Now this was a Loki rune which I scooped up. It was against this Spanish player. And unfortunately I made it too obvious I was trying to board. That was a load of grape going into my unarmoured bow. I just lost maybe 150 crew. Now in crew shock. This ship I was in just was not fast enough to get me into the position that I needed to be in. Speed is very important. Yeah, this is a Loki rune, so you cannot decide what ship you are in. But again, you can't do anything. The enemy wanted to board at this point after I chased them around for around five minutes. Another load of grape going into me. And because of that grape, it actually hammered the preparation, which I was I was caught off guard for. So, <laughs> despite having the full crew on the boarding thing, because I got great, and the crew went into crew shock, I now have the normal standard preparation, which you do get if you as though you haven't pressed the button at all, which did hammer me quite a bit. As you can see, the enemy's morale is a lot higher and has a lot more preparation than me. And now more crew because of the grapes. So I was waiting for him to attack. But it didn't really come about. Probably waiting for another fire deck guns or for me to do something. So I thought, yeah, another fire deck guns. And then go on a surprise attack. He would have thought that that would have been a defend. But he attacked at the last second, which hammered me more than it hammered him. And at that point, it's a case of, you know you're going to go down. Oh, he braced. Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot what happened here, actually. I'm quite curious. I know I lost. I can't attack again. Oh, but he pressed defend. Yeah, so at this point I'm done. So because the morale is at zero, as soon as he attacks, that's it. He's won because it, it won't ever go up from that, as far as I'm aware. 
I hope this video has proven interesting and useful to you. I am about to die in a minute or two. Let me know in the comments if you want another, another one of these videos. It is just a collection of bits that I did as I was floating around. I hope you found it useful and I hope you enjoyed actually watching it. And I shall see you in the next one.